Well, this was not how I was planning to start the episode, but these three cats have literally just appeared. I don't know what's going on. They literally just teleported to me. Oh no. That probably means something awful has happened to the farm. These are probably the cats who are supposed to be in my, um, my mob farm. What is going on? Yep, just check the playback footage from my PS4 and these three cats just suddenly appear. And I'm really worried because there were eight cats down in that farm. What's happened to the rest of them? I think if we mine this way, should hopefully get to it. Could be dangerous. Uh huh. Here we go. So let's see if we can just put some torches down. And hopefully no creepers there to surprise us. Have a slime, that's fine. Yeah, definitely missing a few cats. <laughs> Looks like some endermen have been in here as well. So I think we've got, what's that, four cats, five, and then the three that suddenly appeared with me for no apparent reason. Okay, so this is something we can fix. First things first, we'll just replace the missing button there. Let's check nothing else is missing. Don't think so, the egg is still there, that's the most important thing. And the next thing I wanted to do, as we were down here, I really hadn't planned on doing this, was just add a little redstone door, so that works. But what it means is we can come in here when we need to. I occasionally hear slime blocks down here, and I think the big ones probably block up this hole. Um, it's probably a good way of dealing with them, but I might just come down here every now and then and just get rid of them. And we just need to block this up. Um, so I think I can put a block there. Up, messing that up. Yep, it's all good. And we'll just fill this in. Yep. Just don't want to cross block any redstone signals there. Okay, so that is good. And then following on with that. It would be good if we could get some lights going in here when we turn this on. So we don't have to rely on torches as well. So as you can see I've added a few redstone torches or redstone lamps even here and there. And they will turn off and on. Yep, yeah, brilliant. With the, um, with the door, with the piston door. Um, and now I just need to cover up the holes I've made for the redstone lines and repeaters and then we need to get the cats back in. Now hopefully they're just going to follow me nicely straight into the farm. What I think will happen is something very different. So far so good, good kitties following me very nicely. Ooh, one's already here. Oh, and it's going for some reason. Okay, so two out of three. Oh, third's back. Let's sit you down and can we shuffle you over here? And you sit right here. Perfect. And you can sit over here. And we just want to pick up these torches and we're done. Now if we want to go back into the farm, we simply hit the switch and the redstone lamps turn on and we can go in and just see what's going on. Check that all the cats are still here and the eggs still there, so nice and easy. Then when we hit the switch, door closes, lights turn off. Just to prove that, just to check, there is, there does appear to be some light sources here. We'll put that there. 
Yeah, so just above here is actually a lot of my base, which I didn't plan very well. Yep, all good. So what I actually wanted to start today's episode with was I've actually been working a lot on the farming area and have completed the top floor of it. So you can see all the work that I've put into the ceiling, which I think is looking pretty good. It's really, um, I don't know, maybe a bit too much again with the stone, but I wanted it to be quite complicated because the walls are quite bare and farms themselves are quite simple. I've replaced all the glass with the dark or the gray glass, added small details like barrels here and there. Um, this is actually my micro concrete maker. So you simply put the powder on the top, it falls in, turns to the concrete blocks and you mine it and repeat. Um, just here we have a tiny little basalt generator. Nice and simple, just regenerates. And we have the top layer of our sheep farm, just here, our wool farm, with all the different colors denoting the wool that you get and for anyone interested in the redstone i'm sure there is a simpler way of doing this but you just have the dispensers at the top observer checking the grass block there and when the sheep eats the grass it sends a redstone signal up and into the dispenser which has some shears in which shears it and just got a little area where i can dump supplies because you know i often pick up extra bits and want somewhere easy to leave them but yeah let me know what you think of this floor and there's been a bit of minor progress down here again I've just been putting some points of interest the bottom half of the wool farm so that's every color is being collected in this farm now which is great uh, added a few things like these pillars here and just working on some extra areas again this just leads up to the wool farm redstone area just so we can replace the shears as and when but yeah i was actually hoping to get all of this finished today but with that distraction we'll just have to see how we get along but i'd really love to hear your thoughts and feedback on what you think of the farming area and what you think i don't know should be changed if anything it'd be great to hear it so I've just gone around and used some green wool to mark out some of the ceiling design that I'd like. Oh, and you can just see the mob farm is still working, which is good. Look at those guys. And yeah, if, you, if anyone is interested, it does do pretty well. So I clear it out every now and then, but you can see we've managed to get quite a bit of gunpowder and rotten flesh and things like that, which is great. But yeah, as I was saying, just marking out the ceiling design and I also just went and finished a couple of bits around here just to kind of fill in the gaps where there was things like cobblestone showing but what I realized is and a few of you may have noticed these kelp farms I didn't I didn't line them up properly or the fact this comes out a block means it's not symmetrical and that was bugging me and I'm sure it's triggering a few of you but what I didn't notice is I hadn't actually aligned the height either so yeah that's pretty rubbish um, so I may sort that out at some point I may not yeah yeah this is one of the things with how I work I generally don't plan things out this is probably as far as I plan it out um, so things don't tend to be symmetrical um, which can be a challenge when building but also something fun to work around but my suggestion to you is to actually plan what you do makes things a lot easier so I'm going to loosely base the ceiling design here on what's upstairs um, but let's get started
Okay, so I think we're just about done. Have a look. Ceiling is all in now. I think it's looking really nice. And we've done a bit more on the walls and stuff where, you know, I forgot to fill it in and it was just diorite and the like showing. So the base is pretty much done. Um, there are still a couple of bits. So this leads down into that kind of tunnel cave area that leads out into the sea and you can see I had some various plans but never actually carried them out um, so we will probably sort those out at some point in the future I can't remember how to get back aha uh -huh, I knew I could hear an enderman and um, how, how do I get out ah here we are so yeah, let me know what you think below. Um, be great to hear your thoughts on what I've done. I might change this, the floor as I'm not particularly happy with it. It's a bit plain and um, where I've tried to put patterns in, you know, it's not that interesting. Um, but if you're new to the series, this is actually the starter base and we have plans to um, eventually move out under water to make an underwater base that is something I'd quite like to start with next episode um, but before we start to move out of this area there is one final thing I'd like to do and it's to get rid of that island there there we are so you can see it used to be this kind of size and I've been manually digging it out um, but it's obviously taken some time oh Okay, <laughs> we've got these guys there looking very angry, but let's uh, let's just work around them for the time being. Oh, and it's coming to night time, perfect. So, I've got some TNT, this probably isn't enough to be honest, but um, let's put some in. I don't use TNT often so I don't know how well this is going to work. Let's see if we can clear out some of this. And it wouldn't be a bad thing to trigger a raid actually. Because we've got the villagers nearby and I'm kind of assuming if this island is gone then um, they'll have nowhere to yeah, really go. I don't know if they will try and get to the villagers over the water, but let's see. Let's just finish putting these in and see how much we can clear. Yeah, I definitely don't have enough TNT for this, so we may have to go get some more, but let's, um, I don't know, maybe light this one. Oh, we've got phantoms. Oh, thought it would set at least those ones off. guys see if we can get some with the TNT there we are oh there's still one more I didn't didn't do this very well did I That's it. Well, that could have gone better. Let's get rid of you. And let's just manually get rid of the rest here. Ooh. 
and we've triggered a raid and got too close. Let's uh, let's get on the boat. I'm curious as to where. Oh, I think I just. Uh, I think I just killed a villager. Oh no! I just accidentally shot a villager. I uh, hope he wasn't my mending librarian. Yep. Yeah. And the golem's annoyed. What's happened to the raid? The raid bar's gone. And there's one guy over there. What happens if I kill him? Some expert bow use here. What if I go back over here? Will the raid come again? No. Okay. So we'll go back to clearing this. Okay, so I've cleared the island, I've created this weird bit here. Um, I'll probably try and come back and fix that. But um, that little raid that didn't work has made me curious to see what would happen if we actually triggered a raid here. So, I think maybe we should go and, um, yeah, go find some pillagers. So I think if we head in this direction, we should come across a pillager tower. And uh, we'll try and kill one of the guys with the banners. So I think we're getting close. I seem to remember it being to the right of this kind of spire there. It can be just here. Nope, just there. That's close. There's who we want. There we are. Then if we head back, let's see what happens. So hopefully that iron golem isn't annoyed at me still. Yep, yeah, so we've triggered it. So I'm assuming they might all spawn in the middle of that there, where the water's kind of created a little whirlpool. Hopefully they don't all spawn on the boat. Is that them over there? Is it just a uh, wandering trader? Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so that hasn't worked. That's good to know. I think because there's a lack of uh, suitable spawn points around the village, i.e. the boat, um, it doesn't work, which is a bit of a shame. It'd be nice to have a kind of like pirate raid on the boat. Now it's not time to say goodbye forever to the island, but we will be spending less and less time here as we move on to our main base. Um, it's been... Yeah, a little bit emotional. Uh, we've had a lot of good times with the island, spent a lot of time working on it. But now it's time to find a new location for where we will settle down for the rest of the series. So obviously I'm building somewhere underwater and I want a big space, quite deep and as flat as possible to start with. And as usual, we will always stop for some treasure. So whilst I go looking, um, I am going to say thank you to everyone who's commented. And I'll deal with this guy as well. So it's that time of the episode where we look at everyone who's commented on the recent videos. And I just wanted to say a huge thank you to Happy Dazer, EY Giraffis, and Cookie Bandit as well. Thank you all for leaving comments on my videos. Just remember, if you want a shout out in the next episode, please do leave a comment below. So I managed to get three chests down there with a couple of treasure maps. Don't know if the ones will have done. Probably. That one might be new. Where's that? Hmm, that one might be new. Anyway, I think that's all we have time for this episode, I'm afraid. So thank you very much, especially if you've made it this far. And uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next episode, where hopefully I will have chosen a location for our main base. Thank you very much. See you guys.